Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here bringing you another video review. Superman. That is the word of the day. Now, before I go into any kind of comic book review, I want to actually just establish something real quickly. Now, hear me out. Superman, on paper, is the greatest superhero of all time. Yes, I know that's a really strong comment. Let me just say, Superman is not my favorite superhero. We all know Batman is. It's no secret, okay? And in my heart, I truly believe Batman is a better superhero than Superman. But on paper, again, on paper, Superman is probably the greatest superhero ever. No superhero has made such an impact in the comic book industry quite like Superman. His comic book is probably one of the most successful comic books of all time. Now, granted, it may not be doing the best in sales right now, but over its whole entire tenure, yes, it is one of the most successful comic books ever. In addition to that, no superhero has hit popular culture quite like Superman has. His S is everywhere! Superman's S is absolutely everywhere. Superman is in many different forms of popular culture. People get tattoos of Superman all the time. He has his song. Everything. Superman is just such a big icon in popular culture. In addition to that, he's such an American icon, too. It's not uncommon to see Superman standing there with a flag and an eagle. You know, very few superheroes can pull that off. Captain America being one of the few. And Superman is just on par with Captain America as an American icon. So, like I said, let me just state that there. You can have your favorite superhero. You can have your favorite comic. But no one can deny, no one can take away what Superman is. You guys just accept it. I've accepted it. It doesn't mean he's my favorite superhero. I'm just saying, I'm not arguing or, you know, denying what Superman is and what he's done. I respect him 100%. Now, let me actually get into the comic book review. Today we're going to be doing Superman Man of Steel. This is the origin story of the modern age Superman. The revamp retelling after the Crisis of Infinite Earth. Let's take a look at the cover. Yeah. Now, each origin story has its own twist, its own little, you know, specialness to it. Superman Man of Steel has six little specialness to it. Now let me explain. Superman Man of Steel is a six volume paperback comic book series origin story for Superman. Yes, six volumes to explain the origin story of Superman. In these volumes, it, it takes the early years of Superman roughly around three years, so the first three years of Superman. And it hits many different aspects of Superman's life. You know, his personal life, what it means to be Clark Kent, what it means to be Superman, the conflicts that they have with each other, his relationships with his friends, other superheroes, his family, villains, it establishes many different characteristics of Superman, what it means to be Superman, what Superman needs to do, what he's supposed to do. It also explains quite a few things that may puzzle some comic book fans. Have you ever wondered why people can't tell the difference between Clark Kent and Superman? Yeah, sure, Clark slicks his hair back and puts those goofy glasses on. But really, there is another explanation, too, and it is in this comic. Have you ever wondered why when Superman gets shot by a gun? Yeah, sure, he doesn't get hurt, but why doesn't his suit at all get damaged? Yeah, that's explained in there, too. A lot of what Superman is, is explained in these six volumes. And each volume has its own little feel. Now, I like the fact that they actually did six volumes. I like the fact that they have all these issues. Because there's tons of issues to go to. There's tons of issues to enjoy. And they're all different kinds of issues. Now, I was worried that all these issues were going to be just separate, alone stories. But they actually tie into each other at some point or time. So an issue in Volume 2 will eventually tie into an issue in Volume 5. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, 
I can't explain every little aspect of Superman Man of Steel, but I'm going to quickly try to go through each volume and just give you the basic gist of how I felt about it. Now, I'm going to use these bottom things right here as references. As you can see in the beginning of each, on the cover of each Superman Man of Steel volume, is pictures of people. Those are going to be the main supporting cast for that volume. For example, Jor-El, Lara, Lois, Batman, the Kent, Bizarro, Lex Luthor, and Volume 1. Those are the major characters supporting Superman in this volume. Now, I have to say, Volume 1 is definitely my favorite out of Superman vo uh, Man of Steel series. The origin story was very well done. You know, they didn't put that much effort into explaining why Krypton was blowing up, but it was still a good origin story. The raising of Clark Kent, the becoming of Superman was very nice. The relationship between him and Lois Lane and him and Lex Luthor was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The Batman issue was very well done, too. Now, I'm not saying that just because I'm a Batman fan. I think it was very nice. So, and the Bizarro um, issue wasn't that bad either, although it doesn't really answer questions about Bizarro's origin. So, read it, you'll understand. But Volume 1, I definitely feel, is the best of the volumes. I went through it so quickly and I read it twice. Volume 2. Volume 2 introduces Metallo and Darkseid and a few other things. Now, I felt as though Volume 2 is actually the weakest out of all the volumes. Now, I was excited because Metal is one of my favorite Superman villains, but the story was pretty decent until the end where it just suddenly ended. The other issues in this feel kind of weak. Although they do connect to other issues in the future, they feel just kind of weak. The saving grace in this is the Dark Side issues, which kind of is a three-issue story arc that takes place on Apocalypse. It is a good issue story arc, but I do feel as though Volume 2 is the weakest. Volume 3 tries to recover, and Volume 3 does pretty good. It has a lot of crossovers. You know, the Hawkman, Hawkwoman crossover, or Hawkgirl, Hawkgirl crossover. The Etrigan crossover, also very good. Both of them very good. And the Green Lantern crossover, very good. Even the Mummy story is very nice. And it really works on the character of okay. Kate. Now, I think she's a great character because it's kind of an alternate love interest towards... Superman other than Lois Lane. So, Volume 3 starts to pick up, and I actually liked Volume 3 a lot. Although I felt as though it relied a little too much on crossovers. Volume 4 wasn't bad. However, I felt Volume 4 spent too long on the whole Legion of Superheroes, Superboy kind of story. I felt a little lost in it. Of course, eventually it does explain it. But, on a whole, Volume 4, I felt as though not quite as bad as Volume 2, Still was a little weak, you know. It did have a good story. The Legion of Superheroes and Superboy story was nice. However, I felt as though it was dragged out a little too long. The other stories were also okay. Again, it's not bad. It just wasn't as good as Volume 3 and Volume 1. Volume 5 really starts to get things rolling again. Now, the Mr. Miracle and Big Barter story was very nice. Now, you do see the Joker there. Don't bother the Joker story sucks because it was just basically five pages. Yeah. Volume five was good. I like volume five a lot. It had some good stories in there. And then volume six. Volume six I have to say is my second favorite. With the exception of the last story with the Silver Banshee, I felt as though each and every story in this was solid and nice. Um, especially the Booster Gold story. I love Booster Gold. Booster Gold is awesome. And that story was nice. And the Tanto, or I forget what the gorilla's name is, but that was a great story, too. With that said, let me just say, first of all, finding these can be kind of hard. You know, Volume 1, really hard to find. You're going to have to buy it online. Volume 2, also kind of hard to find. Volume 3, isn't that hard to find. I find it everywhere. Volume 4, mm, it's kind of common. Volume 5 and 6, you can find them in comic book stores. You're going to have to buy some of these online. I highly suggest picking up the Superman Man of Steel series. It is long, and it will cost you a pretty penny, but it explains a lot about Superman. It has excellent issues. It sure it does have a few bad issues, but on a whole, I felt that it was a great series. 
and it was one of the better of the origin stories out there. Again, you can't deny what Superman is. Superman is a comic book icon, and Superman Man of Steel just basically encompasses everything that Superman is. It basically uh, defines how he is a comic book icon. So again, if you have the money and you have the time, I suggest picking these up. They are very good. The individual issues were just nice. Absolutely beautiful. With that said, I'm going to end the review here. This is Andrew. I'm going to say peace out for now.